Well, it's a good thing that I was having to do this video over again. You know, I don't know. I think it might be, it's either my microphone or vocal screen, the, the recorder, the screen recorder. And I think it's vocal screen, but every now and then the audio will just randomly cut off. So we'll see if it does it this time. But this lets me get my thoughts more in order. This video is really about MX-15 here on the screen. Uh, and I'm just amazed still at the MX. I tried on MX-14 and I think there's still a video on YouTube about that. And this I think is their latest. I think 15 is their latest. They might have a 16 by now, but it's this is MX-15. And it's just fast. fast. Um, so, good one, and for it to be so fast in a uh, in virtual machine, you know, is incredible because usually in virtual machine, it's things can be kind of slow. Um, and uh, but what I did is I enabled a lot of the, um, you know, the other repos, so like the back ports, like the test repo, like you know, different things. And I don't know if I should have. It's in virtual machine, so it doesn't really matter. I'm a little bit more reckless when it comes to virtual machine than with an actual machine, because I know it's easy to start over. And so I had to sort of, uh, it wants me to do an update, and different updates. It's going on right there right now. And yeah, we'll see what happens. One of the reasons is because I've been searching for a way, this is part two, <laughs> the second topic, to uh, put up, uh, to watch, I should say. The, my cable company allows you to watch online. I don't even have a TV, but I'm able to watch basic, some channels. And it works on a tablet, of course, because tablets don't use flash. They use HTML5, and you got to wonder why these companies, there's other ones that do the same thing. It's not just the cable company. The CW makes you use Flash when you watch it on a desktop or laptop computer, and so does uh, CBS and probably a number of other ones do that, and there's no reason for it. If they can make HTML5 work perfectly on a tablet, then they can do it too, but... So I was trying to use what's called pipe light. Pipe light is a way of flash and silver light and things like that into your Linux browser. It worked on a small netbook that I have and it seems to be still working using Manjaro. I tried using Manjaro to do this on the virtual machine but could not get it to work. Of course that was using a GNOME desktop which is heavier and slower. But um, it seemed to work almost on this. Not quite. Didn't quite work. Uh, still spun and sputtered. And um, now with the updates, I don't know what's going on. I might have to re, you know, uninstall it and reinstall Pipelight. But, you know, tablets aren't always all they're cracked up to be either, though. I mean, tablets are more prone to things like pop-ups and maybe even viruses than Linux, even though tablets are Linux, technically. Android is technically Linux, but I've had problems like that that I seem to have resolved by clearing out things and uninstalling and reinstalling things, but still, you shouldn't have to. And really, you shouldn't have to go through any of these hoops to do any of this. Things should just work. Nonetheless, back to the original topic. <laughs> MX-15 is a, good, is a good one. There's no doubt about it. Okay, let's see here. Hmm, where is this? There we go. 